<laughs> Welcome to the third edition of Talk Death, Bodies and Forensic Science with Vidal Herrera. Hi, Vidal. Hi. All right, so Vidal, uh, the first question we got, uh, the question is, what's the biggest discrepancy or difference between what we see on CSI TV shows and real life? Well, the biggest description, believe it or not, the reality of entertainment. One thing I learned about going to the movie sets, offering my service as a technical advisor, is actually speaking to the writers who don't, who've never even been in a forensic settings, who have never been in a morgue. They were able to get all the information out of reading books. So when we go to a set, we, we literally used to argue. And they would pay me anywhere from two to $300 an hour. And I was required to be on a set for 14 hours. And you cannot read a book because it, it violates union uh, bylaws. But they have a lot of books you can eat, you can talk, do whatever. But it became, for me, it became very boring. And uh, as I said, we would get into arguments. And what I learned is it's entertainment. They want to have a lot of color, a lot of lights. They want to entertain the public. So as a consequence, they really get, have a distorted perception of what a forensic setting is. It's great uh, that that has come along, all these different, what they call franchises, because it has drawn a lot of interest to young people who want to become CSI investigators. Mm -hmm. What I call, there... one, they call, they come to us, they want to volunteer, they want to do a lot of things. And as I tell them, we, we look at their maturity, how old they are, how much education they have, and how much they passion they have for this industry. That's how we evaluate them. But what I learned from Hollywood is it's entertainment. It's, it's a show business. It's a business like anything else. And that's how I perceive it now. Do you have one example, uh, perhaps on one episode, where you saw something and you were like, that does not make sense. That is not how that's done. Well, the most recent uh, program is called Rosewell, I believe, or Rosewood. Uh, that actually was... A, a TV program, it was, it was going to be me, my company. And it never happened. They selected someone else. But when they put lights inside an autopsy table, and all these color lights in the cabinets. And if you look back, believe it or not, all the way back to Frankenstein, if you look at the movie sets, they're all the same. Mm. Set directors have come, they come out and they have the preconceived idea of what it's like. And we tell them in a real morgue, and hopefully one day we'll have an opportunity to show you a real morgue. We call it the, the kiss it syndrome. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Some things have never changed in terms of equipment, instruments, uh, because when we work, we work at a very fast pace because the case, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have time to adjust light. For we don't have computer screens in a, in a mortuary or a forensic settings. Again, that's all entertainment. So what happens is that's the perception the public gets that, that actually follows through and goes into the judicial system when, when jurors go to court. They have the CSI syndrome and they think what they see on TV is real and it's not. Okay. 